guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2021 Toyota Venza, courtesy of Hanover Toyota in Hanover, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. This one is 100% made in Japan, back to life from the dead it previously of course was out for quite a while and then they discontinued it and now it's back the venza name that is and of course the previous venza had legendary toyota reliability as always this is a very sleek looking suv both on the exterior and the interior the second i got into this one i was impressed but Having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there are actually only a few different trim levels for the Venza for 2021. First one being the LE starting at 32,470. XLE, which is the one we have today starting at 36,000. And lastly, the limited starting at $39,800. And so regardless of trim level that you go with though, the power plant on the Venza will be the same. Powering this one is going to be a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder with three electric motors. Yes, this is a hybrid configuration. Altogether putting out 219 horsepower at 5,700 RPM, 163 pound feet of torque available at 5,200 RPM, sent to all four wheels through a CVT, giving a zero to 60 approximately 7.6 seconds. Top speed 118 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 40 in the city. 37 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel that's quite a bit for an suv you guys but so then before we do any kind of acceleration test in the venza i did want to mention there are actually several different drive modes that come standard on this one those drive mode buttons are all located directly in front of the shifter they will include eco normal sport and ev or electric mode essentially they will adjust things like the shift points of throttle response as well as the steering sensitivity and actually that ev mode when it's charged up enough that is is your full electric mode of course so that's going to be most useful during city driving it's essentially not even going to sound like the vehicle is odd so i always love that it's so trippy but anyways let's just go ahead now and find a straightaway what i'm going to do is simply push the uh drive mode button up there that is going to put me in sport mode and it did immediately downshift for me there so it is going to hold the rpms at a much higher level giving you more power on demand and let's go ahead and let's do a quick little acceleration test here and let's see how quickly the 2021 toyota venza here is going to feel and get us up to speed all right a little bit of a rolling start but three two one let's go okay not bad actually uphill that'll work actually <laughs> kind of impressed didn't expect that much since this is a hybrid after all but yeah that's decent acceleration you're not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway so that's always a plus but to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 12 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.1 inch solid rear discs as far as the braking feel goes it's been absolutely fine today so no issues there for me touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it's perfectly fine definitely no issues there this is pretty much as expected for the venza for an SUV. As far as steering feel goes, it's a little bit on the heavier side, but again, kind of pretty much as expected. It's certainly not a loose steering feel, but it's not the heaviest either. So it's right on point tends to lean a little bit on the heavier side which i personally like but as far as cabin noise goes super quiet vehicle especially on city streets without that engine sound not a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin either so that's always a plus as well so once again on point when it comes to visibility this is where it's kind of average or below average i would say it's not the best visibility just because of its shape but it's not bad it's just not the very best out there like the forerunner for instance or the highlander you're going to have better visibility with those two as opposed to to the Venza so not the best but certainly not bad I can see perfectly fine out the back there also touching on visibility rain sensing windshield wipers are going to be optional for the limited trim that's one of the things I think Toyota probably could have put on actually all trim levels a lot of manufacturers are doing that these days making that standard across the board it's kind of like automatic headlights it's just automatic windshield wipers they turn on for you automatically whenever the Venza would detect any kind of mist or rainfall or anything like that also a head-up display is going to be optional for that limited trim level as well projecting your speed and speed limit onto the windshield better helping you keep your eyes on the road but 
That about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2021 Toyota Venza. All right, and here she is, you guys, the new 2021 Toyota Venza. Very sleek, very nice look to this one, in my personal opinion. Let's go ahead and start up front. Let me start with the front grille, actually. Multi-layered dark gray front grille with chrome accents is going to come standard across the board. And it does actually get active grille shutters as well. Essentially what that is, is the shutters within the front grille are going to open and close dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. It's always a nice little feature there. Also like the Toyota emblem is going to be finished with some blue highlights, kind of signifying that it is a hybrid. Toyota tends to do that with their hybrids. To the sides, multi-reflector LED headlights coming with the LE trim level. They do get the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, will turn on automatically for you there. Also automatic high beams coming standard with that LE trim level as well. However, if you jump up to the XLE or limited trims, you will get LED projector headlights. So slightly better illumination there and LED daytime running lights will come standard on every single trim level across the board as well. So just a slight difference in the headlights there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the Venza here. And so let me actually start up top on this one. Low profile silver roof rails coming with the X XLE and limited trim levels only. Rear privacy glass actually comes standard across the board for all trim levels. You will find hybrid badging found on the front fenders of the Venza that is going to come with all trim levels, of course. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard. They will also be heated actually with integrated turn signals, with blind spot warning indicators, and with puddle lights as well. That is great. That's going to come standard on every single trim level and typically. All of those don't come standard on every single trim level with other manufacturers, so I gotta mention that. Puddle lights with the Venza logo, little unique design there is going to come with the limited trim level only if you wanted the Venza logo projected to the ground. Then taking a look down at the wheel setup, 18 inch multi-spoke, two-tone machine finished alloys coming with the LE. However, with the XLE and limited trims, you will find 19 inch multi-spoke chrome alloy, so slightly bigger wheel setup with that. And again, a very nice sleek elegant look to the side profile in my opinion but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the Venza here. Rear spoiler is actually going to be finished in black if you were to go with the LE trim level however for the other two trims it will be body colored back there with an integrated brake light for all trim levels but just below that rear window wiper of course you will get LED tail lights coming standard across the board that is also a big plus and just below it all dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips however with this being a hybrid I have a feeling when we are about to do this exhaust clip, you may not hear the exhaust for a good portion of that clip. So we'll see how it turns out. You guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are around back of the Venza, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, you will find a hands-free power lift gate for every single trim level across the board. That almost never happens with other manufacturers out there, so I do want to specify that. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 28.8 cubic feet behind that second row. With the rear seats folded down, there is a 60-40 split, by the way, that is going to bump that up to 55.1 cubic feet. And by the way, it was relatively easy to fold those rear seats down, I will say that. Cargo area tonneau cover is going to come standard for every single trim level. You will find some LED cargo lighting back there as well. And I did also want to mention underneath of that cargo floor, there is a spare tire back there with actually actually a decent amount of space to put perhaps a tire inflator kit or a snow scraper or something like that. So decent amount of storage within that cargo floor as well. But then making our way to the rear legroom that comes in at 37.8 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Rear center armrest with dual cup holders is going to come standard for all trim levels as well. You will find rear ventilation back there. There is also dual rear USB charging ports for those rear passengers as well. So plenty of space for me back there. Then make our way to the front seats, cloth seating coming with the LE, soft techs upholstery 
coming with the XLE and limited trim levels. All trims are going to get an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar. Memory settings coming with the XLE and limited trims. Power adjustable passenger seat coming with the limited trim level only if you wanted that. Heated front seats coming with the XLE and limited and you will find ventilated front seats only if you go with the limited trim level. So that's how you're going to get that. Overall, those seats were plenty comfortable. That's one thing I said immediately when I jumped into the Venza. Some of the more comfortable seats I've tested in quite a while and that's really something to Toyota and Lexus is known for Lexus specifically the most comfortable seats in my last 500 reviews is the F Sport seating by Lexus and Toyota of course borrowing some of that being that they actually make Lexus so definitely very comfortable seats is what I'm getting out there but now taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping leather wrapped for all trim levels and it will be heated if you were to go with the limited trim level only then make our way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here it is a Venza specific key you got your Venza Venza logo on the one side and when you flip it over you have your blue highlighted Toyota logo at the bottom lock unlock and that button to pop the rear hatch back there as well but I will say it is all keyless entry with a push button start for all trim levels across the board so all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so, but then once started up, Venza lettering appearing within the center digital portion of the screen. You will find some light blue gauge needles, which I absolutely loved on this one as well. Speedometer is all the way to your right. You have your battery indicator all the way to your left. And of course, a plethora of different information you can scroll through within that center digital gauge cluster by using the steering wheel mounted controls, of course. Things like your drive modes, for instance, what the temperature is outside, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, radio settings, Bluetooth information, Information, the list goes on pretty much everything you could possibly want up there what I specifically liked watching was your average miles per gallon at any given time being as this is a hybrid that was a pretty fun number to keep an eye on while I was driving a little bit there but then make our way to overall interior quality first thing I wanted to mention is a pretty unique feature for the class stargaze panoramic sunroof is going to be optional on the limited we don't have that option but that's something you typically find in Mercedes Benz but definitely not at this price point so i absolutely love that i can't show it to you guys of course but essentially what that is is glass panels on the sunroof which go from transparent to opaque at any given time so it kind of creates that stargaze effect when you're driving around at night so i think that's a pretty cool feature there that toyota has added to the venza led interior lighting coming standard across the board along with a wireless phone charger as well if your smartphone is compatible with it i should say dual zone climate control coming for all trim levels home light controls for the XLE Unlimited, illuminated footwells for the XLE Unlimited as well, and a wood grain style trim also found on the XLE Unlimited. One of the things I really liked about this wood grain style trim is it's not a typical darker wood color that you're used to seeing. It's kind of a light beech wood kind of color. It's just something you don't see that often and I personally absolutely loved it. The lighter wood color that is as opposed to a darker color in the Venza. So that was pretty cool. Another thing I kind of really liked is the soft text upholstery finish kind of around the shifter. Typically in most other vehicles, you're gonna find everything located around the shifter being being finished in a hard plastic but I love that Toyota replaced that with a soft text upholstery so I made it for a very more upscale feel to the interior quality of the Venza and that's one of the first things I noticed the interior quality is definitely on point here also just in front of the shifter you do have two USB charging ports and auxiliary port as well and like I was mentioning to you guys a wireless phone charger do have an electromechanical parking brake located just behind that as well just behind the shifter you're going to find two cup holders as well as your heated and ventilated seat buttons if your Venza of course is equipped and just in the middle of it all within that center armrest there is a decent amount of storage and a 12 volt power outlet within there as well so overall for me interior quality was definitely on point with the Venza but so now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display on the Venza here eight inch color touchscreen display coming with the LE and XLE trim levels that of course is what you are looking at right now however with the limited trim you will get that bumped up to a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display so substantially larger there 
Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard either way. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, also standard either way. Gotta love that. Meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Venza and you have free navigation located up on that screen. So no need for a factory navigation system if you didn't want it. However, factory navigation system does come standard with a 12.3 inch screen only. Essentially, you gotta get the limited trim level for a factory navigation system at least. Of course, you could check out your average miles per gallon actually up there as well, radio settings as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system here on the Venza, you will get six speakers if you were to go with that eight inch screen. However, you will get a nine speaker JBL sound system if you were to go with the 12.3 inch screen and that does include a subwoofer and an amp as well. But so then last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display at least is when you do put the Venza in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start front side, side curtain airbags do come standard, but not only that, driver's knee airbag up front as well and a passenger seat cushion airbag up front as well. You almost actually never see that, so that's pretty cool. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks back there as well, tire pressure monitoring system, and also coming standard across the board, bunch of advanced safety features covered under Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. And so what that is going to include for all trim levels is a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, automatic high beams, dynamic radar cruise control, and road sign assist as well. And then in addition to that, all trims actually also get a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. And if you were to go with the XLE or Limited, you will also find front and rear parking sensors as well. And so when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new 2021 Venza, amazing fuel economy for an SUV. I think you guys probably saw that on the gauges. I averaged 40.5 miles per gallon in my short test drive here in the Venza. And that includes that acceleration test and includes sitting in traffic traffic and that's one of the best parts with hybrids is when you're sitting in traffic the engine isn't actually on so definitely very impressive fuel economy at least in my short test drive here today great interior quality on this one I absolutely loved that especially the light wood trim digital gauges would be nice and I'm talking full digital gauge cluster that's something I would have uh, definitely liked to have seen in the Venza but overall this one definitely has a ton of style and if you're going to be using this as a commuter every day to work perhaps you're going to get a ton of miles per gallon and of course Toyota has legendary reliability so you really can't go wrong with this one but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold